Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Draycott Media and welcome to Gran Turismo 2 License Tests. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and get gold in as many of these as I can. I'm going to drive myself mental. I don't even think, did I ever do my special super license thingy? Yes, I did. There's some golds even in there, actually. But they were just like hot laps around circuits. As you'll see up yonder, that way, up there somewhere, it is now 1.32pm. I'm recording this with the timer there so you can see how long these take. I don't want to pretend that I've done a million attempts at these when I might only do one or three. Or two, even. So I'm going to just keep that timer up there so you can see just quite how long it takes. Now, it means that the episode lengths may be a bit odd. There may be really long ones, maybe really short ones. I don't know how many episodes this is going to take to do. But every sort of 40 minutes of recording or so, I'm going to stop. So you may only see a couple of attempts at these or ones where I'm tearing my hair out the most. The first one is the Toyota Yaris F from 1999, where you've got to literally just go in a straight line and break. <laughs> Boy, does it seem like forever since we did this. These are the ones that are most painful. So, an interesting indicator here is that 85.5 miles an hour was my record last time. So that means... I can probably break a little bit later than 85 mile an hour. Like now. Well, that was awful. I even failed it. I didn't even get a bronze. <laughs> oh, this is... I need to get ready to build up the revs, don't I? I'm holding down X now. Oh, there was already a delay from it. I'm not even touching the D-pad or anything. It's just a case of... That. It's very simple. Might have to get me left index finger ready for the downshift when we get there. But these are not hard physically. There's not a lot of mental thought goes into this other than when do you break? You don't want to wring the gears out too long, though, because at the end of the day, you can very easily lose speed by making the gears too long, and that is literally two thousandths faster than my previous record. It's going to be a long, arduous process, isn't it? How am I meant to find half a second? I'm not doing that every time, am I? Holding down X. Maybe I do wring out the gears a little bit more. Let's see. So it's that little white line there. There we go. Not a lot to report. Still not a lot to report. Okay. Oh, you're joking! Six thousandths of a second! I've literally had both ends of the scale here, haven't I, already in the first test. I failed it completely, and then I've missed out by thousands. Oh, for God's sake. But as I was going to say, you have to just break early and stop as as short a distance as possible inside that finish line. That's the trick. Now I've just got to try and remember where the hell I broke last time. I mean, they could have put it in a nice colour, couldn't they? Oh, I completely mucked that up. Completely mucked that one up. Way too late on the brakes there. But now I know. Now I know. It's all about learning. There's white lines at the edge of the road. You see them over there. I was basing it on the final white line before you actually get to the finish line before I hit the brakes. Either that or the penultimate one. That's way too late, so we need to go now before that. It's just this bit, the boring bit on the way there. Now is the time indeed, son. Don't know why, but I've still got my thumb ready on the D-pad. <laughs> ready to turn for whatever reason. Okay, so penultimate line is too late. Oh, God's sake. That was a little bit too late again, though, still. Yes, yes, yes. Many records, many good, much. I'm short shifting a little bit compared to what I did before. Just as it gets inside the red line, that bit there is where I'm changing gear, just in case that's where the power band is. At the end of the, get the, at the, end of the day, if the game knows better than me and puts the red line bit there for a reason, why would I not follow it? 
No, nope, too late on the brakes again, Chaz. Come on. I think I was going a bit faster there because for once I actually changed up into fourth gear. Is this me slowly going insane? Probably. There's a lot of tests to do, isn't there? There's a long journey ahead of us still. I thought the manufacturer events were hard. Try doing the same thing again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Uh, break. That felt good. Oh, still not good enough. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Do it again. I thought that we were maybe going to get these first few done <laughs> in just a couple of attempts. But no, I'm just vibing. I'm going to stay in third. Oh, again. So close. So close. All right, let's, let's ring it out in the gears. I think that's the best option, really. Oh, ringing it out even a little bit more there. Nearly getting to 7,000 RPM. Yes, come on. We did it. It is all about ringing it out, isn't it? There's the goal. There's the first one. How long did that take us? What's that? 10 minutes? Nearly 10 minutes? Still, one in the bag. And now we move on to the next test. And thanks again to Dave Goddard for telling me about this. So you scroll up this little menu here, go up to there, and then go boom. Next one. Fiat Coupe. Same test again, but still faster car. I think we do it in the Coupe, then we do it in the Skyline. Either way, I'm not looking forward to having to do this in faster cars now. Whoa, less margin for error. Love it. Okay, so there is the Yaris out of the window. So we're going to have to break a lot earlier here. Probably going to break it like the 900 meter board here, aren't we? Let's try it. 900. Oh, I tell you what, that's not shabby. That is not shabby. So 900 meters is a little bit late. I think we can get that done. That's going to save us a few tenths, isn't it, surely? I'm confident for this. Confident for this one. Got to be quick on the reactions there when it suddenly stops wheel spinning and surges up the gear. Now we know that 900 meters is too early. Oh, sorry, too late, so bang. Wow, look at the difference that it makes. Look at the difference that made. Wow. Okay, so maybe I was a little bit too early, to say the least. I've got to be kind to my right thumb here because I'm pressing down A so hard. I don't need to. Come on. I'm going to go for 900 again. I'm going to change down almost instantly. Oh, better. It's just a couple of meters. A couple of meters earlier than that. I think we're getting the speed right. We're certainly getting the speed right. But it's just... The braking point is so key, isn't it, in this challenge? I think that's a little bit more important. Come on, little coupe. Come on. Just before 900. There. Why did it not stop for ages? Did you see that? It, like, really dribbled across the line. I thought that was it. Oh, mate. I thought that was the one. I don't know whether I came off the brakes or something, or I wasn't pressing the button hard enough, but it just dribbled itself onto the line. Oh, mate, I was really determined that was the one there. Still, we push on, bringing that third gear out a little bit more on this run. Wherever we brake might be a little bit late. Oh, you pig! Piggy. Yes, I know. Just seeing that little... Is that different music? Just seeing that little uh, little fail icon come up at the bottom reminds me of the very first episode when I tried to get my first B license. God, doesn't that seem like forever ago? I think it was about a year ago that I started, wasn't it? Wasn't it like March time I started this playthrough last year? So amongst all of my European ventures and real-world commentary, I've still been maintaining this for nearly a year. The final stage of braking in this car is odd. It's just like the brakes don't work. It's another silver, but not good enough. Oh, the music is different because I failed the last one. And when you succeed and get a record, it plays that music you just heard there. I'm not sure if ringing it out like that is doing it any good. 
That's what's hard to know. That was well too late. Well too late. Yeah, another 29.5. <laughs> yeah, I think I do keep trying to push it as late as I dare, and that's not that's not what I should be doing. I should be trying to bring it forward and do it a lot earlier. I'm not going to ring third out as much this time. As it gets to that marker where the seven is, just there, we're going to change up to fourth. I'm going to break just before the 900, but I'm going to downshift as soon as I do it. Done it again. Oh, this is tough, man. This is so tough. It's like that becomes too early then. It's so hard to get right. On a positive note, I would love one of these. I love a Fiat Coupe. I've heard they all used to rust a lot, though. Similar to the Celica SS2s, it used to get really rusty rear arches. Well, they made one hell of a racket. They had a five-cylinder engine, so they sounded like a Audi Quattro sort of noise. Oh, we've absolutely just greased that. Get in. Get in. 11 thousandths under, and look at how close we are to the edge of that line. Beautiful. I will take that all day. Okay, that means then on to the Nissan Skyline GTR V Spec, the R34. 26.8 to beat. Very different kettle of fish again, this car. Very, very fast. Yeah, you can see it sort of runs out of puff as it gets past the red line, so maybe change there. Now we know that 900 was too early before. Let's try there. Oh, we've only gone and nailed it. Oh my God, 22 thousandths off first time round. Flip it, heck. Go on, come on, Chaz. Please just have the slight bit of talent somewhere in this awful hoodie that you're wearing. I think it's actually quite a nice hoodie. Just find that little piece of talent, please, to get those 22 thousandths and do this in two attempts. I've gone all like stiff because I'm going to <laughs> concentrate so hard. Oh, 7,000. <laughs> tiny, tiny margins once again. We're so close with this one, though. So close. Feels great with that first gear shift, but it's just no different to what it is before. It's the same every time. You get down there a lot quicker, which is nice, so you can fit more runs of this one in. Absolutely creamed it. Yes. Come on. Three golds. Progress is being made. Next one. Acceleration basics. Circle track. So we know that this was a lot easier in the Subaru, which is the one that we got the first gold on. But I remember this is where I first got back into the handling of Gran Turismo in slower cars because it turns really well, this machine. So this is one of those where I've got to just get used to how well it handles. Let's just try and stay near that white line. It's going to make me go dizzy. Oh, it oversteers like mad. Can we get away with being on the curb? Okay, so we've got a silver. We can get away with being on the curb there, and I think if I don't have those oversteery slides, we'll be all right. It's that initial turn, though. It handles so well, it just goes. Well, on the curb. On the curb, all the way around. All the way around. Come on. I'm going to get dizzy. We actually lost a bit of speed there. Don't let it oversteer, don't let it oversteer. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, nearly, nearly. We're two tenths quicker. But I think there's there's maybe a bit of a balance between having a slower, tighter line instead of carrying the speed around the outside. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run wide of the curb and see what difference that makes. Oh no, why did I change to third? That was a very silly thing you did there, Charles. Why 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 did you change to third? Don't know. I thought maybe it'd give me a bit more shove. I think. Just run it on the curb again. Don't let it oversteer. Yes! <laughs> I didn't have words there. I just concentrated. You've got to sort of make it a bit more of an oval rather than a circle. Run a little bit wide, get a slingshot. Then run wide, then get a slingshot. Anyway, we've done it. That's another gold on the list. And now we move on to the next one. We've already done the Impreza. Now we go to the Mazda Demio. Basics of cornering. 
Here's the next challenge. I think this is one of the ones where it launches us at speed. I should probably read the descriptions at the bottom. No. I like the Demio. Hey, that felt good. That felt really good. Oh, for God's sake. Could you feel the suspense then as I thought we were going to do it? 36 thousandths of a second off in the little Demio. Well, try and try again. Let's get a little bit wide first time round. Ah, I meant to say let's go a little bit wider early doors. And smooth it out on the exit. Ah, oh, we're going a straight line. Not great. I think we follow the line that the game gives us. Stay in a straight line, then flick it right, flick it left. And don't hit that grass on the inside. It's way too easy to hit that grass and lose a lot of speed. So stay in a straight line. This is fine. And gradually make your way over to the right. Use all this curb. Little lift. Nice. Smooth. Great. Absolutely great. Don't kiss that grass or I'll kill you. Yes, get in. So the racing lines are worth it. There's no better way. That's another gold. More solid progress. I like it. Okay, this might even be the case that I have all of the B license golds done in one episode. We'll have to see. What else have we got to do? We've got to do that again in an Integra. Then we do a different cornering test in an Integra. Ah, now we get launched at speed here. 31 mile an hour for each of these. To right corner instead, you brake slightly, clear the corner, try to smoothly follow it out. Ford Cougar. Ah, yeah, I remember the Cougar bits at the end. Okay, Integra. Now we're launching at speed, and I think you've got to change up pretty much instantly. Yep. Oh, this car in this game makes such a good noise. Oh, kiss the grass. Oh, I tried to carry way too much speed through there. And it won't go in a straight line now either. Big mess up there, Chaz. Come on. Oh, I've still got a silver. Yeah, 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 fine. Yeah, 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 fine. Go, go, go. Ah, now, yeah, once you've already loaded the scenario as such, then it loads in after that a lot quicker every time. Use that front wheel drive power. Nice, that felt good. That felt good. Yes, come on. We're flying through now flying through. I know that it's some of the other licenses that are going to be a lot harder, hence the fact that they're more difficult for more difficult races. But that's fine. Integra done. No, it's not because we've got another one now. So it's the same corner, radi corner radius. Corner radius as the last test, but it's tight right corner instead. I must break slightly to clear this corner. Try to smoothly follow the yellow in, out, out, in, out, outline. Look at that gear change. I was ready for it. Ah, oh, wide there. Wide on exit. Oh, we still did it though. First time. Get in. I suppose it helps though because I'm used to the car. I was used to how it felt in that previous test, so I knew that it would behave at certain points. But still, that's another gold. Two left to go already. We've been recording for just under half an hour now. And now we're going to be in the Ford Cougar, which is not something I'm looking forward to. Didn't read too much on this one, but I know that again we're going to launch. We might have to change it pretty instantly. No. Okay. So clearly I didn't read it at all. Was it this test when someone knocked on my door last time I did it? That felt like a very shoddy attempt. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Goal! <laughs> I don't know if any of you remember the video game RC Stunt Copter, but you had this crazy sort of instructor that just starts screaming gold at things, and there was amazing sort of audible or audio files for uh, for him and what he said when you completed stuff, and yeah, some of them were ace. Oh my god, you got gold, gold! Oh my god, oh, I can't believe it, you got gold! Gold medal! Woohoo! Gold! We're already on to the last one, actually. We've made amazing progress here, and I'm actually really chuffed. So let's see if we can do this. So this S-turn test, you'll be going faster than in the last one. So you must brake more solidly before entering the corner. Try to smoothly follow the line. Smooth driving is key to improving your time. So we're going to launch. I'm going to get ready for changing up. There it is. Maybe didn't need second gear there. 
Might have helped us to grab it there, which is good. 18, 19, 20. Oh, three tenths under. Well, three tenths over, I should say. So where could we gain time there? You can see the taps that I was doing to keep it nice and smooth. Yeah, maybe don't need to grab second gear for the first bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try third all the way around this time. Come on, chasing that B license gold. Naturally aspirated car, so it's got all the down low power. Which, to be honest, only works when you're on the road, and I was on the gravel for a long time there. Yeah, again, that's... Is that not an identical time? No, it's a little bit slower. Okay, that's fine. Progress is easy to make on these ones. Oh, that's well too slow, Chaz. Might give us a better exit out of here, though. I need to remember that I don't need to turn really hard into there. Yeah, we're getting slower and slower, actually. But the, the braking into there, I was, I was way too eager on the brakes. Way too eager. A little bit of a lift mid-corner there, and that felt all right. Oh, that was better, but still not enough. Not enough. We're getting close, though. We're getting close. Let's just have a look. Where else could I improve? Well, I was off the line there, and that's what took me wide on the exit, so that makes sense. That felt all right around there that time. There was that little lift, which maybe I didn't need. I don't know. Let's just give it another go. Let's try and stick to this line a little bit better, shall we? Ah. Oh, the weight transfer. Ah, oh, it's throwing me off. Big slide, lost a load of speed. Yeah, that's not going to be good. No. 20.8. Oh, lost a load of speed there by touching the grass. You can hear the revs drop very suddenly. That was all right. That second bit was definitely all right. Oh, no, it wiggled. We lost a lot of speed. Oh, 20.4, though. Still not bad. Not too bad. A tenth of a second slower than our best. To be fair, the timer up there hasn't actually come into play much in terms of showing you how long I've been at this because this hasn't really taken that long, in fairness. Oh, that felt like the one. That felt like the one. That felt good. That felt good. No, don't wiggle. Yes, no. One thousandth slower than my best. Oh, thought I did it. Thought I did it. Oh, double press right trigger. To... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What? How was that so quick? What? Right, maybe second gear is the trick. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try going down to second for that first first corner. Let's just give that a go again. What? I didn't have the dodgy change down or like mistaken change up or anything on that one and it was about the same time as the run where I did. Eh? I'm just gonna ignore the line. Oh, come on. That's the closest we've been and I ignored the line. I think bollocks to the line and we're gonna stay in third. Let's try that this time around. Come on. Use that low end grunt of the Cougar. The oversteer. Oh, it's that bit there. It just doesn't go in a straight line. Oh, again, we're into the threes. 20.3 is becoming more and more consistent. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's the closest we've been. Uh, smooth. All right, straight line. No. Oh, again. That felt good. 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 No. Hey, that felt good. Get it turned in before you break. That was nice. 
That was good. And it's uh, it's not quite straightened up for me there. Go on. Oh, again. Into the fours now. Oh, we're going over there by the look of it. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> right then. <laughs> okay, so that is... <laughs> that is B license complete. We've got all the golds in my B license. I've got a new car. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to save. I don't even know what the license cars are. I know what, I think I know what one of them is actually, that's a lie. But still, <laughs> whatever that method was of going across the track rather than a straight line, that worked. So I'm going to take that. What have we won? Oh yeah, Spoon S2000. Fantastic. Look at that. It's not the most outrageous machine, but still I'm happy with that. A proper Spoon Honda S2000 in Grand Prix white. Very tasty. But there's the reason we got it. All golds in the B license here on Gran Turismo 2. And it's not been that long an episode. 42 minutes or so we've been recording for. That's not so bad. We're going to then move on to the A license for the next episode. I'm probably going to get recording that one now, to be honest with you. But thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you in the A license tests in the next episode.